hello 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 welcome back to another video um so today i'm going to be entering another draw this in your style i know it's it's crazy i i, I really enjoy these though oh wait no it's not a draw this in your style what am i talking about it's an art contest <laughs> okay um but i was i was very very excited to do this um just because i mean the prompt is honey uh the hashtag is honey scribbles 50 um just just say i mean it's probably gonna be in the title so you know but um i'm doing a scribbles is scri scri scribbles scribbles is <laughs> it's a hard contest and i'm i'm really really happy with the final product i think she's really really cute but i was you know i was thinking what's like what's my strength right i'm gonna focus on my strengths what do i like doing and i was like okay character design i absolutely love character design i love like coming up with a backstory for a character and like trying to implement that in their personality and their like physical attributes and like i just i enjoy it so much um i always talk about how i love drawing girls and people and that's true but i honestly love drawing like creatures or like humanoid creatures where there's like you know i mean i don't think this girl is very human she literally has honey for hair but you know <laughs> like characters i like drawing characters most of them are girls true but i most enjoy like drawing something fantasy-esque or that isn't real so yeah um i did name her honey i don't know i didn't need to name her but i was like you know i'm just gonna her name is honey i know groundbreaking you never would have thought of that it's literally as basic as it can be as basic as it can be <laughs> but i'm <psh> <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> i absolutely had so much fun with the hair but also i really struggled like um it was definitely very difficult trying to figure out how to make it look like see-through but also like honey and it was kind of a mess i was definitely struggling but i ended up figuring out <laughs> how to do it and i ended up like finding a nice style of like I wanted to stylize the honey um especially when it came to like the actual drawing of the honey i found like a good medium between like clunky and kind of gooey and like very like uh i don't know very liquidy you know i found a good in between i don't know the hair looks weird but i like it i don't know i i'm not sure i didn't give her a personality so basically she looks very very like innocent very cute um but she's actually like you know she has the personality of a bee she's kind of feisty maybe you know kind of sharp um she's intense but talkies are seriously <laughs> no, i'm gonna stop um i kind of like you can see with the grumpy thing on the side the grumpy one <laughs> uh you can see that she has like a bee sting coming out of her hand that must be very painful but I, you know it's like kind of retractable or something i don't know but um and also a little like again um that kind of bee sting i also added that like as her eyelashes i actually didn't realize that i was doing that at first i was like oh let me just give her these like long eyelashes and then afterwards i realized oh wait they kind of look like bee sting so that kind of like also hints at her like less soft personality you know i don't think she's mean or evil or anything she's just I don't know she's got an edge to her or something um that like that second one of her with the with the dot eyes that one i don't know if that one even counts like I, that's i don't know that's very quick but she's just looking a little beat you know <laughs> i definitely had a lot of fun doing the honey though and like her hair um once i got the hang of it it was very very fun um yeah honestly I'm very happy with her. She looks so cute. I love her. Um, I didn't make this kind of character sheet thing. I also decided to like, you know, I, I'm gonna, I think, I don't know, which, what's my entry? Is it the whole character sheet thing? Because I also like cropped it and added like just a general white background. Um, so it's like kind of like an illustration because I wanted to have like the full body just as its own illustration just for myself as well. Um, but I do, I think I'm gonna just enter the like, my actual official entry is just the whole, you know, uh, character sheet with the emotions and stuff. Because I do think it adds a little bit more and stuff. But I guess I'll put both of those, like, at the end of the video. 
so really they're both kind of the whole thing i don't know i guess the the second like full body only version is just so you can see that just, just just so you can see a little better i guess um i don't know the beads were so fun to draw they're absolutely adorable i don't know i like it i had so much fun with it um i <laughs> Uh, I kind of forgot to like record I wasn't planning on screen recording the sketching process just because that's always really tedious especially when you're trying to like sit down and come up with a character design on the spot right um so there was a lot of trial and error uh I could like show you I don't know I'm I'm not gonna show you the, the original outfit that I thought of because it was it was okay it could have worked but once I got the hair idea everything else was just like smooth sailing with the character design so that was cute very fun um I like it I really like this honestly I'm proud of it uh, I spent a while on it and I I enjoyed making it I don't know <laughs> um, yeah I didn't I didn't record anything else of the like coloring process other than like the hair and a bit of like the, the little faces you know the close-up of her face just because um, I forgot I wasn't planning on um, filming the sketching or the line art process just because it always takes me a while and I you know i don't know it's just a lot of, it's very tedious so but i do feel bad that i kind of forgot to record everything else but honestly the hair itself took me like an hour um i i looked over and i i, I had been recording for like 51 minutes right when i finished like the whole honey thing and i was like okay dang okay so i think that's all already enough footage i don't really know what else to say honestly i just i love her and i'm proud of it you know i i, I don't know i keep entering art contests just because they're fun um not for anything else i mean obviously i guess you know if you're not having fun and you're only like okay i want to win like i can be competitive but with stuff like this i'm just like i just i just want to draw honey girl okay is that so much to ask for <laughs> anyway um yeah i i didn't give her shoes or socks or anything at first i was gonna give her very like clunky socks you know and then one of them was gonna be rolled down and even like be even clunkier but i decided against that just because it was gonna be really busy and i decided not to give her shoes either just because it was gonna be really busy um honestly i could have given her like some dark brown shoes like either the same mm, okay now i regret not doing that should i add it like i might add it actually <laughs> i might give her some like flats or something but then the cute blush on her little feet won't look like won't show up and you won't be able to see that unless i give her sandals that's kind of dumb though why sandals that's the thing though with this character design just like when i'm when i'm designing characters for an actual story um there would be way more thought that goes into this like for example her little like stick thing that i i'd assume like the the bees are carrying or maybe she has like powers to like control the honey <gasps> she can control the honey and that's why like she can control the thingy the honey stick thing honey spoon because it's full of honey dang i'm sorry <laughs> i just came up with that on the spot anyway <clears throat> if i was if i was like doing care chief for olu or venus or someone else like astrid i'd put way much way, way more effort into this and it would take me a lot longer and i would like add little notes and stuff and it would most likely be in my sketchbook or something but even if it was like a character sheet i would like add likes and dislikes or something like that with her she doesn't really have a story or anything and she's kind of a one-time thing with with characters like this where it's only for like an illustration for like a one-time illustration <clears throat> sorry i just woke up so my voice is a mess um but for characters like that you 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 know it's kind of really most of it is just the rule of cool which is basically where you only make it like you only add things just because they look cool um there is obviously purpose to it like obviously with the like, the wing um lashes thing at least it like hints at her personality and stuff but still there's not it's really just okay well it's honey themed so that's what i'm gonna add it you know there's not like a backstory and i find that you know that like obviously if there was like a backstory and i could like add hints of that it would look a lot cooler and it would make her feel like a real character but again this is like a one-time thing so i'm not even gonna bother <laughs> um if she can control the honey then that's how she's lifting herself up <gasps> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to make like some kind of like lore here or something. I don't know. I think I might give her some shoes just because like there's a lot of brown on her outfit and I feel like her feet are kind of just blending into her hair. I feel like there needs to be more contrast. So I might just give her like some flats or like some sandals or something. Um, so in the finished product, I'll show you that as well. <laughs> 
I like it. I think I've been talking for way too long at this point. Um, I hope you like it too. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know what else to say. Bye-bye. <laughs>